In this video today I will talk about Klaviyo's advanced analytics tool and this is a new tool by Klaviyo and they promise that you can use it to dive deep into your customer and subscriber data, see your funnels, make some predictions and not just guessing about your customers and subscribers, what they want to buy but actually rely on the real data to make smarter and better marketing decisions. That being said, let's jump to my computer and let's discover if it fulfills the promises. Okay, so this is a real Klaviyo account of one of our clients, e-commerce clients, and uh, advanced analytics is already installed. How you can see it, if you scroll down here, you will see advanced analytics and you can also use the drop down. So today I want to focus on six different parts of this and show you how you can actually utilize it. So the very first one is actually not here at uh, the drop down in advanced analytics, but uh, you can go to metrics. And if you are not familiar with this part of Klaviyo, here you can see all the metrics that come through from different tools. So some they directly come from Klaviyo, for example, how many people clicked your uh, emails or others they come from the integrated e-commerce platform like this one, Edit to Cart, and we can see a daily breakdown here. And some actually comes from MailChimp because this company used that before. So we have all of these metrics coming from different uh, integrations. But once advanced analytics is enabled, you can create custom metrics and custom uh, conversion metrics. And why this is useful? Because you can define certain uh, filters, what you want to measure as a conversion and later on you can optimize for that. So you can create a combination up to five metrics with three filters each. And I will just set up a test here so you will understand this can be either a value or a count. We usually use this one, metric name. So for example, we want to use the placed order and you can add a filter. So you can filter out certain uh, orders and uh, you can see not all of them, just some of them. For example, it can be a certain uh, sales channel. So it can come from only the website, only from eBay, things like that. I will click this one and then I can also add another metric and we want to see the combination of these. So form completed by profile, submitted by profile. So there are people who fill out a certain form. So if I click this, we will see people who placed an order from the website and also they submitted a uh, form um, as well. So let's create this metric now. And here we can see the number of people. So actually it's not all purchases. Here we can see only a sub segment of purchases. So assu I assume this is correct. And we can use this uh, conversion metric later on when we go here and uh, we want to see not the placed order, but let's say what we call test and the incoming conversions from that. So we can focus on this uh, new custom conversion metric that we just created. And actually this is what we can use this for. So we can uh, either see certain channel performance I could see even salespeople. So if you have salespeople, you can uh, see how they perform. You can also separate purchases by this different discounts so you can see their impact. So there are different ways how you use these custom metrics. Number two would be RFM analysis. So if you go here, customer insights, go to RFM analysis. So this is something I talk a lot about and this is super important for businesses that have at least 50 or even 100K subscribers because they're using uh, only purchase history or engagement based segmentation is just not detailed enough anymore. So you want to be smarter than that. And this is why we use RFM and this is comes from good old direct response marketing. So RFM stands for recency, frequency, monetary, meaning that uh, basically we analyze how recently someone purchased, how frequently this guy purchases and also what's the monetary value of the purchase. So basically we have three different ways to categorize everyone and the software it uh, gives a rating from one to three regarding each category. 
So each category will have a rating and based on these, we will see these different groups. If you want to get more knowledge about this, you can go here and you can read these. But uh, yeah, basically these are the scoring systems that it creates. So one, two, three for recency and the same for frequency and the same for monetary. If you want to get technical, you can customize this. Now I will not do this. You can also read about different categories here, but basically the champions are the best guys, so they, they are the most frequent, most recent buyers with the highest spending. So they get 333 three, three for all of the RFM uh, categories basically. Loyal, these are regular buyers, high frequency, and uh, they spend less than champions. So they have a lower rating for monetary. Recent, they are the most recent buyers, the most engaged, I would say, but uh, they don't necessarily buy in a big uh, value and, uh, and very frequently. Needs attention, so these guys who are occasional buyers, lower frequency, but uh, there is a potential to engage them. That is also at risk and inactive. Obviously inactive, they have the lowest rating for everyone. And as you can see, this brand actually has a high uh, number of inactive uh, people, 60% of their total subscriber base or customer base. So that's something to actually deal with. And if we go down, we can see other things like how they move uh, from one category to another over time. And uh, we can see how many of them and who are these uh, people. We can segment those out. So you can see a ton of data here that you can use and you can create actual segments and you can send email campaigns to each segment separately. So you can save them or you can make them more loyal and increase their value. So RFM segmentation, it's super for brands having at least 50 or even 100K subscribers. The next one is funnel analysis. So let's check this one. So here we can set up different funnels and here there is only one we can uh, change the time range. Basically, this is received email to placed order. Those people in the, who in the last one year, they received at least one email, how many of them they actually placed an order. And we can see also the drop of points, open the email, click the email, all of that. You can edit this or you can create new funnels. And here there are endless opportunities. You can be really creative with this. A couple of my uh, suggestions. So one is lead to purchase. So Basically, you want to see who are those guys who subscribe to your uh, opt-in forms and how many they actually purchase. Another one, organic site visit to purchase. People who visit your site and how many they actually buy. You can also find this in Google Analytics, but I'm not a huge fan of GA4 anymore. So actually, that's something that is uh, just super useful and uh, you can do that too. So organic site visit to purchase and uh, we don't want to filter by segment, completion window, let's say the last one year. And step one, our metric is active on site. And now I don't want any additional filter. Uh, step two can be added to cart. Step three can be started checkout. And I will add a fourth step as well, which is actually placed an order. So here we go and let's create this funnel. The biggest drop off is actually here active on site, add it to cart. So 29% of people, they uh, add to cart and then most of them, they go to the checkout, most of them, they place an order. So this is where the website could be improved. And I can create another one, which is lead to purchase or let's call it uh, opt-in, opt-in to purchase. So here the first one would be somebody that subscribes. So subscribe to list and you can filter them um, based on the sign up form. I will not do that now. So let's just count all subscribers. Step two can be the same as here. So let's add this one, add it to cart and then I will add start it checkout and the last one would be placed order. Yeah, so subscribe to list almost 20,000 people in the last one year, add it to cart 8,000, so that's pretty, pretty nice. And then 5,000, they actually placed an order. So that's super interesting. And of course you can also dive deeper. So who are those people? 
who buy from uh, who are subscribers in the opt-in form but they don't buy within seven days so we can see that actually the email impacted them more so you can dig deeper than this using this tool i'm a huge fan of these uh, funnel tools now the next one audience performance so here basically you can uh, create different audiences and you can compare their performance for example how new subscribers uh, perform over time number of members how their size uh, has uh, changed over the last one year or seven days whatever how much was the email revenue sms revenue total revenue all of that so here you can see different uh, segments that you have and how they perform based on uh, different metrics okay so the next part is predictive analytics so this is one of my favorite parts because clavio has a really solid machine learning or fancy word ai <laughs> tool and you can use this for uh, segmentation purposes and also send people different messages so basically here we use Clavio's uh, machine learning algorithm and uh, we can see who are those people who are the most likely to buy again in the future and we can also predict the value of those purchases so this is super exciting and actually you can go here and you can create segments using this and uh, you can see these segments here. So I just created a couple. So average days between orders is below 30 days. So these people, they typically buy multiple times within 30 days when they buy multiple times. So these are really frequent buyers and we can target them with something really specific. Or I will just go back and this other one is those people whose future customer lifetime value is over 200 Australian dollars. So this means that these people are very likely to buy again with a value of at least 200 Australian dollars in the future. And this data, it's not from thin air. So these people, they are very likely that they already purchased many, many times before. So Clavio is pretty sure that they will buy again in the future. And actually we can see it here with this uh, actual profile. You can use those uh, people and you can send them something really specific. The next one would be this one. So I actually wanted to see who are those people who have at least five predicted number of orders is at least. And it found not as many people. So actually this segment has only 20 people. And yeah, these people, they are really frequent buyers, not necessarily with a high value, but uh, these guys are really frequent buyers and most likely they will buy more, more than five times from your store. You can also create uh, combinations between these segments. Now I just wanted to show you a couple simple examples. But if you want to create them, basically you go here and basically you add a title, go to predictive analytics about someone and then here you can pick whatever you want to predict and uh, basically yeah you will just add this here and is at least five times and let's update this segment and i want to know not the historic number but uh, this one and okay let's update the segment and then you can use these segments for different purposes so you can set up a campaign for this specific segment or you can create a flow for these people or you can create forms so these people will be able to see specific uh, pop-ups or sign-up forms what other people they will not see so this is the real power how you can use machine learning we can rely not just on past data but we predict things and based on that we can message people differently so this is a really powerful tool of Clavio. okay and the next and the last part i want to share today is product analysis the catalog insight so here we want to see how emails perform based on uh, different products or product categories so here you pick the time period let's say the last one year and this is a specific product and we can see days after the first purchase how likely that people they will buy this product again as you can see many people they buy again within the first five days which is amazing and then there is a 
small peak after around 20 days. So they just realized, hmm, this is a great product, let's buy it again. And then here we can also see products both in the same car. So what are those other products that they typically buy this product together? So there is one product which is super relevant. So maybe you can think about, okay, let's create an offer with these two products together. That would be a smart idea or products both in the next order, we can also see that. So that could be an upsell idea. And then I uh, click other products, like let's say this one, and uh, yeah, we can see the same stats. Here there is nothing crazy, I would say, but these other two products, they could be relevant upsell offers. Or I will click this one, yeah, uh, repeat purchase timing, actually within the first few days, they just buy it again, super interesting. And then, uh, Okay, same card, that is nothing really crazy, I would say. And uh, this could be an upsell idea. So here you can get a lot of upsell, cross-sell ideas or bundle ideas pretty fast using this tool. Okay, so just to wrap it up, how you can use Klaviyo's advanced analytics tool. So the six different ways that I showed you today. So first, custom metrics. You can go into your Klaviyo account and you can merge different existing metrics in your uh, Klaviyo account and come up with custom metrics, custom conversions, and you can optimize your account for those in the future. Second would be RFM analysis, so recency, frequency, and monetary value of the purchases of your uh, customers, and you can segment them out based on these different factors. So this gives you a more detailed picture of your audience and uh, you can send them different campaigns and flows and you can use them in your messaging. Number three would be funnel analysis. So you can create not just one, but multiple different funnels and see the drop of points, the customer journey of uh, your customers and subscribers using Klaviyo. Next one is audience performance. So you can create different segments and see their different metrics over time, also the purchase value and how many messages they receive from you, from Klaviyo, so you can optimize them further. Number five is predictive analytics. So you can use Klaviyo's AI tool and uh, you can predict different things such as future uh, purchase value or number of orders or potential churn risk and you can see it per profile but also per segment and you can create different forms different campaigns different flows for all of these different segments and finally the last one is product analysis so you can see when somebody buys x product what is the other most likely product that they will buy and when they be, they buy it immediately or a month later, or even later. So you can come up with a shit ton of cross-sell, upsell, bundle ideas, and uh, you can use it not only in your email marketing. So Klaviyo's advanced analytics tool is the real deal, and definitely think about it, it's just a couple hundred dollars per month. And if you are one of our partners, it's even less. We have a partner discount. So just feel free to reach out if you are interested and let's use this amazing tool for your e-commerce store. Hope you enjoyed and even more importantly, you learned a lot from this video. Here at Good Eye Media, our goal is to help at least 1000 e-commerce businesses grow with high quality marketing because we can see too much shit out there. If you like this video, make sure that you go down, you subscribe to this channel and also hit the notification bell so you get updated of my weekly videos. We collected the top 100 email templates from the past six years and these generated tens of thousands of dollars for our clients. So go down and click the link and get this uh, 100 templates for free. And finally, I will drop you one more video here. Make sure that you check it out as well.